almost there. What's missing now is the orders. The orders should also belong to a user. For that, I'll just store them like the favorite status of a product. I'll give them a separate node in my database, so to say, or I'll add separate nodes inside of that orders entry in the database. Or I'll add separate subnodes here under orders instead of directly storing the orders here. For this to work, besides the off token in the orders class here, in the orders start file, we also need to get the user ID, of course, and therefore this should be provided in the constructor. And for that to work, we need to go back to the main Dart file because here we do pass data into our constructor and there we should now also forward the user ID. With that done, we can go back to orders. Now we have the user ID available there. And for example, here, when we fetch the orders, I expect to get them from orders, but in there now from a subfolder, which actually is my user ID. And for that, of course, when we store orders, we have to make sure we store them in such a subfolder by also adding that here. That should already be all. With that, if we save this and we go to orders, we shouldn't fetch any because for this user, we have no orders. We have no orders in such a subfolder. Now here, let's log back in. And I was logged out here, by the way, automatically because my token expired and that therefore led to this logic in the main Dart file where we check is off, which does some token expiration date validation, led to render the off screen, so that's good. But uh, now that I logged back in, let's add a couple of items to the cart here and place an order. Let's now go to orders. And now we can see that order here because now in the orders folder, we have a separate subfolder for that user with our order data in there. And if I delete all the other orders, which belong to no user, thanks to that new structure, we can also try logging in with a different user and we shouldn't see that order then. So if I do a refresh and I log in with the test2 at test.com user, we now actually shouldn't see our order here. So let's do a quick login here and go to the orders screen, no orders here. And yes, we could show some text here which says no orders found, but for now this will do. The good thing is that now we're scoping all the data or we're attaching all the data to users. And that's of course how it should be. We're making sure that every user has its own data.